the back of one of the top and elected to receive the game here against the Centurion and the Razorbacks. Brendan Wiley looking fired up. He's made flying down a bit today. Centurion crippled with injury this season. A few key players out. Justin Fernley out. Now has a metal arm, bionic arm I believe. His knee has apparently been completely removed. He is therefore unable to continue the season. Another fired up Shane Bradford is running back today. Good to watch. Point we're just about set to go. With overcast to the breeze coming over the commentary box. Maybe 10 to 15 knots, whatever they are. Over Cup Day will do the Centurions a favour again. And here's the kickoff. Kick goes short, right. The right sideline, and it just stays in bounds. It's picked up there by number 13 for the Razorbacks. He's looking for a way to go. Oh, he finds a bit of a hole on the left side. Picked up about 10 yards to the 35 yard line. And this delay of start of the game. Waiting for the turn to play on to get in. Here we are, Razorbacks, 50 and 10 and only 34 yard line. And off to the left side. Oh, I don't think he's going anywhere. Back up for a loss of two yards by Graham Sharp. Scott Cameron and Shane Bradford. Had a loss of about three yards on their play. He's second and 13 from their own 31 yard line. Line. James Queen, he's open, but the wind just takes it up over his hand and incomplete. Not too happy out there. Nice pass. Oh, there's a back coverage. I've got number 96 out here on the left sideline doing playing DD. Field. And you would never believe it, but number 96 has picked it off. 
and has been absolutely nailed by Robbie Goldfarb. That was a sensational hit. Still looking sorry after that hit from Robbie. That was a beauty. But the Razorbacks have got it on their own 21 yard line. First and 10. Of sunshine here today, it's Cannon Hill Junior Rugby League. Off start on the Razorbacks, so they'll be first and 15. And off to the left side, to the right side. Dangerous is always out at receiver. He's double covered there by James Kim. And Mikey Walters just come straight across the line. Hard to see if there's any movement. Well, back to third and ten. Around 22 yard line. Oh, a handoff. Number 31. Once again, he's going nowhere. These Razorbacks are going to have to learn they can't run against this full force and chewing defense. Obviously, a very shallow landing surface in there today. Fourth and ten. They come out the front. There's no mucking around here. Fighting, there's no whistle, there's a flag down on the near sideline, so we'll see what that is. Number 80 was called for offside, so it'll be first and five from the 40 yard line. In a whistle. Incomplete. We've been diving for that one. That's fourth down. Fourth and eleven. Well, trying to warm up his leg again. No one falling for that one. Takes the snap, drops back to pass, looking over the middle. It's intercepted by number seven. He sets off up the near sideline and just pushes his way out of bounds.
Uh, picked up the first down on the 43 yard line of Centurion's handoff to number 31 again. He picked up about two yards. Continuing with his power eye. Well, what a surprise handoff number 31. He lost it on the ground. Centurion's have fallen on it. That'll be Centurion ball on their own 40 yard line. Wouldn't you believe it was that an inadvertent whistle? Giving the ball back to the Razorbacks after that fumble there, second and eight. Power eye on a fake quarterback rolling in the near side. Just gets to the outside looking for a block. He's upfield. He's got the outside contained. A couple of first down and more. I got down to the Centurion 20. Line. Alright again, number 31 just following that fat lot of a man, number 92. Oh, it's on here, late hit. Paul Holwell been put on his ass. Hand off, he's pressured. Oh, just gets the outside easily. Oh, pump fake. Dodges that guy, steps up near sideline. He's got one man to beat, but he can't pump fake him. It's number 92, he puts his big fat 150 kilos straight on top of him. For a sack of about four yards. That'll be third down and about 21 yards. Wells out of the shotgun. Back, looks left, now looks right. Quinn, one man to beat. He's got it, he breaks loose. He's set off up the right sideline. Tries to cut inside Trevor. He tackled down right on the 20 yard line. Had a 60 yard reception there with James Quinn. He's good for the first down where he caught it, but he busted loose for another 40 yards. So it's first and 10 on the Razorback 25. Pick up of about 65 yards. Oh, there's the head fake. We're waiting for that one all day. He's giving it to us in his early runs. Picks up about three yards. So that was the end of the first quarter. Oh, still not all, but the concern is threatening. They're on the Razorback 22 yard line, second and seven. Just 
go to the third down. He's third in about half a yard. And off to Bradford. Oh, there's got to be a face mask in there. He's picked up the first down. He's picked up two or three yards. to pick up a first down there on the right of that turning up on. Take hand off. Neil not running his pattern. Ball comes to him anyway. There's a bit of push and shove. Ball for the flag down. The line of scrimmage. Spike, there's a flag in the way. Oh, and it pops back in his hand. Ah, oh, disappointing. So, 6 0. No dance from Michael this week. Two or four efforts. Well, he's scoring that many touchdowns this season, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> a two point conversion now for the Syrians. Wells rolling out. Oh, boys, number 50. Throws Michael Wells. Oh, it's over his head. Out of the end zone. He's not a happy man. Avoided the rush of number 50. Michael Wells was open with a tail over his head and incomplete. So the score remains 6 0 for Centurion as the rain starts to come down. Here's a kick off. Michael Wells. Nice kick. Keep right, takes on about his 15 yard line, number 13. Trying to do something with it, doesn't know where to go. He's coming to the near side, there's plenty of defenders. Outside contained, nearly breaks the tackle. Eventually put down by Graham Sharp, as you could probably hear. Well, he's got out to his 35 yard line. The Razorback first and 10, and their own 36 yard line. Out of the power eye again, handoff to number 31. He finds a little hole in the middle. He's smacked by Peter Fernley. Pick up a three. Second and seven on their 40 yard line. Out of the power eye. Wishbone. On oh, the right side. He's nicely tackled around the leg that time. Out of Peter Fernley again. Of the yard of his third and eight. Oh, fake roll out to the near side. Michael Wallace pressure him in the backfield. Up comes Graham Sharp for a shot. He doesn't get him either. Now he's pressured. He's looking back near side. Someone's got to have that. And it's nicely batted away by Neil Donnelly. That would have been taken by number 85, although he's been dropping all day. If he's batted it away, it would have been good for a first down. So that's fourth down. So fourth down. Pretty boy number seven's come back on. He hasn't done. Jack all. Oh yeah, it's moving from number 62. He thinks the big fella. The coach of the, just to throw a bit of a flag in there. Coach of the juniors, you'd think he'd know how to go on a certain snap. But no. Well, they've moved five yards back at fourth and 14. Punts away. A shocking looking kick. Gets a nice roll. Pick it up now. Pick it up. He lets it roll and it rolls all the way down to his 10 yard line. Now the Centurions will take it there. Oh no, Trevor Dart's come off, holding his shoulder. That wasn't good. The Centurions take the ball in their own 10 yard line. Hand off, Shane Bradford. Trying to get to the outside. Oh, that number 50, he's been showing the, showing the outside all day. No, I've just been taking it. Picked up about four yards. <laughs> you know, the Razorbacks called for 12 men on the field, even though it's a bit of a dodgy call. Centurion's first and five on the 15. 
Same play, Sam Bradford has to cut up the middle. Big number 58, shut that one down. No gain. Second down and five. Oh, a quick pass to Michael Walsh over the top and he couldn't get a hold of it. Time incomplete. 7 5 and 15 yard line. Puts up the middle. Oh, Lennon Wells rolling left. Let's see if he gets to the outside. Number 92. Oh, he's not going to catch him. They put the down markers down. I'm going to see where they spot him. Oh, they spotted him well short of the first down. Even though you won't see it from that view, Jesus. Said he's picked up about a yard. A bit hard to tell. So we were looking for a dive there from Lyndon Wells, but there's none coming. So Michael Walsh is punting on fourth and four. Snap's gone straight to him. Oh, he gets a nice looking kick away. Number seven, what's he going to do? Got a slight centurion rolls, it just sort of dribbles over halfway. To the 45 yard line. Linden, Linden too cool wells just puts his foot on it to stop the play. Well those backs taking it. First and ten on their 45, handoff to number 31. He's having a tough day, he's picked up about another three yards, but tackled by another three or four centurions. Picked up about four yards. Roll out to the near side, he's not going to get anywhere this time. James Quinn brings him down. No, he doesn't. Plus loose. I can't believe someone wasn't sailing in there to clean him up. Breaks loose and picks up a first down by the looks of it. He's been ruled short of the first down by about half a yard. Third down. Oh, it looks like they're just going to dribble it over for the first down. They picked up the first down on the Centurion 45, 43 yard line. He's going out of the wishbone again. Like some centurions in the neutral zone, but that wouldn't mean they'd blow the whistle. So centurions ruled offside by contact. Razorback first and five from the centurion 38. Ah, oh, number 92, his chance of glory. His moment in the sunshine and it just slips out of his fingers. Chance to display what an athlete he is. Well, Graham trying to get the defense fired up there in four point stances now. The 13 rolling to the right side, he passes. Just out of the reach of number 85, he wouldn't have caught it anyway. Incomplete. So he's third and five now. Out of the wishbone. No! Oh, back to this side. Looks like it's just going to be a run. He puts his head down. And he's finally stacked up. Michael Walsh finishes him off. Jason McCarthy had a hand on his back the whole way. And he's down. in the backfield for the Razorbacks in the last play with the decline, so it's fourth and four. And they're ready to punt. Number seven. Oh, he's a nice punt. Going high. Going to get a Centurion bounce, though. And the punter gets hold of it again. <laughs> he's hustled downfield. <laughs> with a little kick through. He's going for the corner. Centurion ball. Centurion's taking the ball on their own 29-yard line. Hunter barely picked up the first down. Wells drops back. Oh, he just looks over the middle. Screen to Robbie. He's looking to bust loose. Oh, breaks tackle. 
takes another couple to bring him down. He's picked up about 10 yards. I'll give him the first down. So first down out in the 39 yard line. 10 yard pick up to Robbie. Locked in. The pitch man. Oh, it goes to ground. What's going on here? They've blown the whistle again. Another absolutely shocking whistle. Let's see what they do with this one. We're going to replay that one and be first and ten. Option again. Ah, fake option. Men everywhere. The receivers in the same area. Only one was sort of looking for it. It's incomplete. Comes to the near side. Oh, and a diving catch of James Quinn. That's a beauty. For the first down again. Over here on the near sideline, Glenn Parker has beached himself. He's been tended to by wildlife officers. We're throwing water on him every five minutes. Let's hope we can get him back into the water before the end of the day. Got him that far down too. Oh, the cat! The cat! The bulldog's game. I'll tell you in a second. He's going to be fucked up. Good shit here. Second and ten. Oh, it drops back. No, oh, nice pass blocking. Over the middle. Oh yeah, nice catch there to Neil Donnelly. 20 yard pickup. The Turian's getting it moving through the air. Well, another 20 yard chunk out of the way for the Centurions. First and 10 on the Razorbacks 30 yard line. He wants more. Cross back. And it looks like it has bounced just before the receiver. Incomplete. Second and ten, Wells drops back, pump fakes, oh nice pass blocking, he sets up, looks downfield, oh the man's open, right open in the end zone, he's put it down. Just out of the hands, it falls incomplete. A nice pass blocking from Shane Bradford, but Wells drops back on third down, pump fakes again, he's pressured, oh number 99 leaves the ground if he could, oh pump fake again. They're not falling for it that time. <laughs> well, sorry for the timeout. He was smacked. Well, Centurions are ready to go, but the referees aren't. And then you've got to remember that you can only throw about four pump fakes into the one play. He's out of the shotgun on halfway. Downfield, James Quinn, single coverage, fighting to the outside. Oh, it's broken up from his own man by Trevor Dart. The Razorbacks are taking the ball on the own 44 and a half yard line. That was right, short pass. Oh! Well, he's taking my number seven, but he's just been mouthing off on the sideline, so he's not going to do anything in the field. Still have a power eye and they just get the hand off Trevor Dart. And smack. Pick up a four. Doing supporters getting excited on the sideline. Got a bit of a wave going. Instead of the cheeseheads, they are the dickheads on the sideline. Third and six. And off to Trevor Darty. Oh, 
Trying to strip the ball, but he's not going anywhere. Backed up and put down. Plenty of blocking downfield, but four or five centurions around the ball carrier. I've just missed the snap, but number seven doesn't look like kicking it, but he does. Nice left footer, he wants to leave that one alone. Oh, come on, Glenn. It's been down at about the 13 yard line. I think there's something like inside a minute left in the first half. Centurion's on their own 16 yard line. Well, it's dropped back. Looks like a screen. Oh, Robbie just gets up there and gets it. Carrying about six defenders with him. Up over the 20 yard line to about the 23. Centurion's going to hurry up. Pick up a six yards. And second and four from the 23. Apparently there's a fumble. Oh, Wells picks it up. Throwing the right sideline. Oh, Trevor! Come off his head and he's put it down. That's a shocker. I'm sure James Quinn had a bit of a word to him to tell him that. about his own 20 yard line. He just gets to the outside and gets over the 40. Picked up. Centurions will take it on their own 40 yard line. First and 10 from the 40. Centurions going a single back. It's to Shane Bradford. Oh, he gets to the outside. That's a beautiful one. Some nice blocking downfield from Robbie and James Quinn. Picks him up about over nine yards. Yeah, so a pick up of nine. It'll be second and one from the 49 yard line. Same formation to the opposite side. Same play again. He's putting the hammer down. Get the first down and pick up about 12 yards. Too easy. Okay, same formation on the opposite side. Why change it if it's working? Pitch again. Oh, no defense. He's just running down field. Oh, he's hit way out of bounds. There's almost, should almost be a flag on that. Got to hit him inside the field, Brendan. He's picked up another 20 yards. Play fake. Oh, he's pressured from behind. Taken down. Yard line with a sack and loss of about 15 and 12, so second and 25. Well, trying to get the outside, number 92 is not going to get in this time. Throws to the top, oh, he hit early. Getting hit out of bounds, there's a bit of, a bit of going on with here. Hey, yeah, you're a jerk, 92! Oh, we've had both of them rejected from the game. Michael Walsh has stepped in the quarterback. A tough time with last week. And that was the week before. Oh! As you just said, though, if you ever like it to see. Fourth down now though, that was third and about 25. And fourth and about 20. Well, <laughs> 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 punt from Mikey Wells. Oh, nice punt too, it is. Up 
one's gone out about the four yard line. The Razorbacks will take the ball. So the Razorbacks first and down their own six yard line, I think it is. Sweep the quarterback, trying to get to the outside. The stars have picked up about five or six yards. Well, we're all ready to step up. Start a few rounds here. It's up about five yards, a second and five from the 11. Playing quiet. The family's marching back five yards. Under the right, left side to Trevor Dart. Runs into his own player. Goes out of bounds. Self destruction again. And he's third down. So he's picked up the first down on his own 16 yard line. And first and 10. Same play again, but he's not going anywhere this time. Chris Kaczynski. Wreaking havoc, got him in the backfield. Second and 13, oh, the quarterback's got to the outside. Runs out of bounds about the 40 yard line. Ten from our own thirty-nine. Richard Trevor, he's trying to get to the left side. Looks like he's just going to get there. Just got a, had a bounce by Paul Holwell, but not after he's picked up the first down on halfway. Took the opposite side this time. Oh, he finds a nice hole. Walking to the outside again. Picked up about another 20 yards. First down on the Centurion 25 yard line. You need a good defensive stand. Just like some movement on the line. Good false start. First and 15 from the 31. Trying to get to the outside. Jace, James Quinn chasing him down. Letting him get to the outside. And there he goes. He picks up a couple of blocks. There can't be too many tackles left. He's brought down. He's picked up about two yards after all that. Second down at that 13. During 29 yard line. Pitch to number seven. Well, he's just sort of walking up there. Up about five yards, four yards. Third down and nine. Same play again. Someone would want to tackle him. They do. I think he's short of the first down though, but the reason why they wouldn't go for it on fourth and one. Quarterback just looking for a hole. He's lost the ball. There it is. Pick it up. Number seven's got it. He's not going to get the first down, and that'll be a turnover. So, a crucial play. Razorbacks quarterback had the first down, but he's lost it. Teammate picked it up, but he didn't get the yardage, so there'll be Centurion ball. So Centurion ball on their own 29-yard line. Michael Walsh in the quarterback. Hand off to Shane Bradford. Hit immediately, but he's managed just to break a bit of a tackle and pick up two or three yards. 
Ruling about to pick up a five. Oh, I just missed that one. Hand off to Robbie up the middle. Picked up about four yards. No, he's picked up the first down. Baffy cuts it upfield. Oh, he's breaking the open field. He just runs around number 85. Gets a nice walk downfield from Neil. Picked up about 25 yards, 30 yards. First down. Picked up a first down on the way to that 37 yard line. Picked up about 23 yards. And off to Robbie. Didn't pick up too much there. That's a no gainer. Scotty Cameron's moving to fullback. Robbie's going back to tailback. Oh, the Wallace looking to pass. He's pretty well open, but the pass was nowhere near him, so Carl's incomplete. It's third and ten. Single back. Nugget a tight end. Sweep to Robbie. He's trying to get to the outside. I don't think he's going to get there. A whole pile of people landed on him out in the sideline. Hasn't picked up any yards. So fourth down, the Centurions are going for it. Well, they didn't intend to go for it. They're going to do it anyway. Single back formation. Well, he won't set on that side. Here comes the reverse to Neil. He's got a couple of blockers, cuts it upfield. He's well short of the first down. And the Razorbacks will take it on their own 30 yard line. Yeah, the defense took the time out there. First and 10 on the Razorback. 31. This is a dawn. Looks like there may be a delay of game. This is a false start. That'll march him back five yards. In first and 15 from their own 26. Fake, he rolls out. Oh, he's pressured. Oh, steps up nicely. Oh, what is that? A nice forward pass. Oh, Trevor with a juggling catch. Steps out of bounds. He's still going. Oh, look, he's in. He's blowing the whistle. So he stepped out of bounds. He said he stepped out of bounds and was an inadvertent whistle. The Razorbacks have got a first and 10. Line 45 yard line. Fake handoff, number 13, rolling left. He's got to the outside. Steps out of bounds after about another 15 yards. But the Centurions can get some outside contain happening. They might be able to shut down some of this Razorback offense. The first and 10 on the Centurion, 41. Here he goes again. But this time he doesn't get there. Open field tackle from Nugs. Flags coming late from the far sideline. Well, with that play, it was the end of the fourth quarter. He's managed to pick up what looks like two yards. No, one yard. the chain gang. No, the referees are comparing again. This is a joke. 
said he picked up about two yards of his second and eight. And another flag. Are we ever going to get any football happening here? False start offside. Who knows? That was a false start of his second and thirteen from the Centurion 44 yard line by the it. This is Trevor Dart. He's got a big hole. Well, he just runs around. Like a wolf finally hits him, but he's got well and truly the first down. The first and ten on the Centurion 22. 21 yard line. And a 20 yard run there to Trevor Dart. And off up the middle, number 31. <laughs> so right into the ground. The pick up of about three, two yards. <laughs> pick up, let's say, three yards. Fake, who's got the outside contain? Mug had him, but he just runs around him. There's a flag for a late hit. Got a late hit out of bounds, it's giving me Razorbacks first and goal from about the seven yard line. Oh no, he's knees down, he's running to the quarterback. <laughs> Loss of about one or two yards. Second down. Second and then goal from the eight. With a wishbone again. Fake hand off to number 13. I don't think he's going anywhere this time. Oh, nice block there from Trevor Dart. He's pulled to the ground. Big Chris, Chris Suzuki. Trevor's done himself an injury. Not in a good way, and the quarterback's down as well. Graham Sharp and Chris Straczynski on the sack. It's about a 20-yard loss. Probably third and goal from the 27-yard line. Up comes number 13. He throws downfield. Looking for number 24. It's taken by number 85, and he's just run it in. Unbelievable! There he is, the guy hadn't put a pass before the game. He takes that pass from 27 yards out. We're tied. No. Looks like they've got a field goal kicker, they've got to go for two. Number 13 going out. Oh, it's straight up the middle. Taken by one of the Centurions, but he's not getting anywhere. Scott Cameron pulling him down from behind. Score remains, six all. Number 84 kicks off to the Razorback. Drops short, taking him out 30 yard line. Oh, he runs into Carl. Oh, he finds a hole. Steps to the left side. It's a foot race. <laughs> but he's taking it back to about the 35 yard line. Jason McCarthy had a 30 yard return. So the Centurions are taking the ball first and 10 on the Razorback 36 yard line. Michael Walsh at the helm. Oh, he's audibly. Look out, here comes the pass, over the middle, picked off, number 85, he's not out of bounds yet, runs it back out to over the 40 yard line, so the man was there but the pass wasn't, Number seven stepped into quarterback for the Razorbacks. First and ten on the 42. Drops back to pass. Looking near side. Oh, it's picked off by James Quinn. Oh, spin. Picked up about 15 yards. He's got it back to the to the Razorback 25-yard line. 
So can we have a play without a turnover? But there's a flag down, so that all it all may come to nothing. <laughs> so we had a personal foul. Ladies on the quarterback after the play is taking them back another 15 yards. The Centurions are first and 10 on the Razorback 42 yard line. There's another guy on the other side on the 43 yard line. Hand off to Robbie up the middle, he's rumbling. Rumbling. Picked up six or seven yards. Second and four. 35 yard line. Pitch to Bradford, tries to cut back inside. Picked up a couple of yards, maybe three, he'll be close to the first down. 3rd and 1. They go to sneak, and he finds a hole. Picked up two or three yards, that'll be a first down. First and ten from the Razorback 30 yard line. Scott Cameron in the fullback. Oh yes, gets a nice block. Bradford to the outside. He's hit out there by number 85, out of bounds after about 14 yards. 12 yards make it. So now let's see Bobby do it. First and ten from the 18. Hand off up the middle of Bradford. Oh, he's got blockers cutting back. Just pulled to the ground. Good. Good. Picked up about Good. eight yards. Second and three. On about the 11 yard line. Trying to sneak it again. Doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Trevor Dart was out in the open, no one near him. Come on, let's get it going. Third and three. Fake pitch, Michael Wallace hitting the backfield. Not going anywhere. That'll be fourth down. Oh, the first field goal in Centurion history. That's a practice kick anyway. Could be a delay of game. That's all happening. Everyone's calling time out. But they've taken about six time out. You don't decide what to do, whether to kick the field goal, whether to go for it. Never, never having kicked the field goal. Don't know what formation to be in. Formation on the offense. When? But they haven't lost any. Yeah, now he's taking it back. Trying to score another field goal. There's a snap. It's a fake. There he is. It's a jump ball intercepted by number seven. Good as a punt. Yeah, it ends up as good as a punt. He was pretty happy with that one. Okay. Wouldn't have thought so. Come on, guys. So the Razorbacks will take the ball on their own eight yard line. So the Razorbacks looking to go 92 yards for the victory. Number 13 back at quarterback. Hand off to number 31 on the right side. He's picked up about five yards. 
kicked everything out of it anyway. That'll be second and five from the 13. We've just had the two minute warning. Handoff number seven. Oh, some shocking tackling. He's brought down, he's picked up another couple of yards. Third and four, the 14 yard line. Quarterback waiting for something. And off the right side. He's sort of, sort of trying to half run. Looks like he's got it pretty close to the first down. He's got it. So picked up the first down on their own 19 yard line. Clock's still running. The quarterback spots a hole, he's off. Oh, he finds a big hole, spins. That's about the 35 yard line. Picked up a first down out in their own 35 yard line. Pitch number 31, it's not going anywhere this time. He's met in the backfield by Peter Fernley. First and ten from the twenty yard line. Centurion's going first. Oh, they've lost it. Looks like they have got it back though, Jesus. Talk about dodging a bullet on the first one. You can get a couple of these people off the top. I think Shane Bradford's got it back. He does. So the Centurions hold on to it. No gain, then it'll be second down. He picks it up, just bounces straight back into his arms. Come off his face mask. Just ended up picking up about six yards. Oh, two near fumbles for the Centurion. Third and four on about the 14 yard line. there for some reason. There's a flag. I don't know what the hell's going on here. So the false start of the Centurion. It's in my back five yards. They'll be on the 19 yard line, third and nine. It's got to go to the left side. Option. I don't know what to do with it. That's a bad call. I didn't know what was going on. They've all stepped up for a shot of quarterback. Peter Fernley now calling the shots. They say they'll be looking for James Quinn on the near side. He's going end zone. Michael Walsh, he takes it. But he's short of the first down. Oh, look where he spotted that. I don't know where he spotted that from. What's the deal? Is it four plays an hour or is it? If you get a first down, you get another lot. You do. Right. No, but they'll come up short. Even with that generous spot. So the Centurion's attempt is unsuccessful. Now we're going to see the Razorbacks have a go. They'll be first and ten from the 20 yard line. So the Centurion's going to shut down the run of the Razorbacks. 20 yards out. First and ten. Oh, he steps back to pass. He must be open. Oh, it's picked off. Paul Holwell, run it back, son. You can win it. 
There he goes, he's breaking a couple of tackles. But it goes down, so that'll be unsuccessful again. Let's start all over again. Bad centurions again, Peter Fernley. Wants it all. Interesting formation, double tight end. Takes the snap, drops him back to pass, he's going deep. The man's there, he's got it! He's got it! In the end zone, for the touchdown! So we're going to have an extra point attempt, the Razorbacks to get another go. Yeah. First, second snap from scrimmage for Peter Fernley. Throwing a 20 yarder. But it's not over yet. Okay, let's see it. Razorback. The 20 yard line. Needing this touchdown to keep alive, stay alive. Number 31, rumbling off the right side, he's brought to ground, picked up about five yards. Second and five. Turn off to number seven, he's got nowhere to go, puts his head down, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and five from the 15. Here's the fake to the quarterback. He's looking to get the first down. Cuts back inside. Cut down by Peter Fernley. He's short of the first down. He's picked up about two yards. Three yards. So they'll make it fourth down. But do we have a flag down back to the line of scrimmage? So the Razorback calls for legal use of hands and marks them back 10 yards. The third and 15 from the 25 yard line. Out of the power eye, they fake it. He's going deep. Looking to the end zone. Oh, it's just broken up. Two defenders just get a piece of it. Number 85 in the end zone. Goes incomplete. That'll be fourth down. Down. I wonder how they're in that formation. I don't know. Fourth and 15. Here's the fake. He's looking deep. He's pressured. Still Crick. He's got him! Back in the backfield. That's going to finish it. For the game we thought was never going to end, it has. Okay, 12-6. So, a heartbreaking loss to the Razorbacks. Biffo, there he is. I oh, know, just a bit of a high five, a bit of a wink, a bit of a pat on the bum. seen a team struggle so much to win a game. Well, a bit of ass tickling happening in the rounds of that camp. Did you get that on video? Bit of a worry. No, I made sure I got that out. That was just <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> Pops up out of the you pile. Wait for a well, that's it. Fading light here from Cannon Hill Junior Rugby League Club. <laughs> oh, 
gone the rat. Turn the fucking video off. <laughs> we'll be joining you again next week with another action-packed match from the Centurions. It's goodbye from me.